In mathematics, more specifically in multivariable calculus, the implicit function theorem is a tool that allows relations to be converted to functions of several real variables. It does so by representing the relation as the graph of a function. There may not be a single function whose graph can represent the entire relation, but there may be such a function on a restriction of the domain of the relation. The implicit function theorem gives a sufficient condition to ensure that there is such a function. More precisely, given a system of m equations phi x1 xn y1 ym topic 0 i 1 M often abbreviated into f x y equals zero. The theorem states that under a mild condition on the partial derivatives with respect to the y i s at a point, the m variables yield differentiable functions of the x j in some neighborhood of the point. As these functions can generally not be expressed in closed form, they are implicitly defined by the equations, and this motivated the name of the theorem. In other words, under a mild condition on the partial derivatives, the set of zeros of a system of equations is locally the graph of a function. Equals. <laughs> Topic: History. equals Augustin Louis Cauchy (1789–1857) is credited with the first rigorous form of the implicit function theorem. Ulysse Dini (1845–1918) generalized the real variable version of the implicit function theorem to the context of functions of any number of real variables. Equals. Topic. First example equals If we define the function f x y equals x two plus y two Display style f x y equals x caret two plus y caret two. Then the equation f x y. Topic one cuts out the unit circle as the level set x y f x y. One. There is no way to represent the unit circle as the graph of a function of one variable y equals g x because for each choice of x element of minus 1 1 there are two choices of y namely plus or minus 1 minus x 2 display style pm sqrt 1x caret 2 However, it is possible to represent part of the circle as the graph of a function of one variable. If we let g 1 x equals 1 minus x 2 display style g underscore 1 x equals sqrt 1 x caret 2 for minus one x one, then the graph of y equals g one x display style y equals g underscore one x provides the upper half of the circle. Similarly, if g two x equals minus one minus x two display style g underscore two x equals sqrt one x caret two. Then the graph of y equals g two x display style y equals g underscore two x 
gives the lower half of the circle. The purpose of the implicit function theorem is to tell us the existence of functions like g 1 x display style g underscore 1 x and g 2 x display style g underscore 2 x even in situations where we cannot write down explicit formulas it guarantees that g 1 x display style g underscore 1 x and g 2 x display style g underscore 2 x a differentiable and it even works in situations where we do not have a formula for f x y topic definitions let f rn plus m room be a continuously differentiable function we think of rn plus m as the cartesian product rn times room and we write a point of this product as x y topic x1 xn y1 ym starting from the given function f our goal is to construct a function g rn room whose graph x g x is precisely the set of all x y such that f x y 0 as noted above this may not always be possible we will therefore fix a point a b topic a1 and b1 bm which satisfies f a b 0 and we will ask for ag that works near the point a b in other words we want an open set u of rn containing a an open set v of room containing b and a function g uv such that the graph of g satisfies the relation f equals 0 on u times v and that no other points within u times v do so in symbols x g x x element of u equals x y element of u times v f x y equals 0 Display style Math BF x G Math BF x mid Math BF x in U equals Math BF x Math BF Y in U times V mid F Math BF x Math BF Y equals zero. To state the implicit function theorem, we need the Jacobian matrix of F, which is the matrix of the partial derivatives of F. Abbreviating A one and B one bm to a b the jacobian matrix is d f a b equals f 1 x 1 a b f 1 x n a B F M X one A B F M X N A B F one Y one A B F one Y M A B 
f m y 1 a b f m y m a b equals x y display style d f math b f a math b f b equals left begin matrix frac partial f underscore one partial x underscore one math b f a math b f b and c d o t s and frac partial f underscore one partial x underscore n math b f a math b f b v d o t s and d dots and v d o t s frac partial f underscore m partial Partial x underscore one math bf a math bf b and c d o t s and frac partial f underscore m partial x underscore n math bf a math bf b end matrix right left begin matrix frac partial f underscore one partial y underscore one math bf a math bf b and c d o t s and frac partial f underscore one partial y underscore m math bf a math bf b V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S frac partial f underscore m partial y underscore one math b f a math b f b and C D O T S and frac partial f underscore m partial y underscore m math b f a math b f b end matrix right equals x y where x is the matrix of partial derivatives in the variables she and y is the matrix of partial derivatives in the variables y j. The implicit function theorem says that if y is an invertible matrix, then there are u, v, and g as desired. Writing all the hypotheses together gives the following statement. Topic: <laughs> Statement of the theorem. Let f r n plus m room be a continuously differentiable function, and let r n plus m have coordinates x, y. Fix a point a b. Topic a one and b one b m with f a b. Zero, where zero element of room is the zero vector. If the Jacobian matrix J F Y A B equals phi Y J A B, this is the right-hand panel of the Jacobian matrix shown in the previous section, is invertible. Then there exists an open set U of R n containing a such that there exists a unique continuously differentiable function G U room such that G A equals B display style G math BF a equals math BF B and F X G X equals zero for all X element of U Display style f math bf x g math bf x equals math bf zero quad text for all quad math bf x in u. Moreover, the partial derivatives of g in u are given by the matrix product g x j x equals minus j f y x g x m times m minus 1 f x j x g x m times 1 Display style frac partial g partial x underscore j math bf x equals left j underscore f math bf y math bf x g math bf x right underscore m times m carrot minus one left frac partial f partial x underscore j math bf x g math bf x right underscore m times one topic higher derivatives 
If, moreover, f is analytic or continuously differentiable k times in a neighborhood of a, b, then one may choose u in order that the same holds true for g inside u in the analytic case, this is called the analytic implicit function theorem. The circle example Let us go back to the example of the unit circle. In this case n topic m 1 and f x y equals x 2 plus y 2 Minus one display style f x y equals x caret two plus y caret two minus one. The matrix of partial derivatives is just a one times two matrix given by d f a b equals f x a b f y a b equals 2 a 2 b display style df a b equals left frac partial f partial x a b frac partial f partial y a b right equals 2 a 2 b Thus, here, the y in the statement of the theorem is just the number 2b, the linear map defined by it is invertible ifb does not equal 0. By the implicit function theorem we see that we can locally write the circle in the form y equals g x for all points where y does not equal 0. For plus or minus 1, 0 we run into trouble, as noted before. The implicit function theorem may still be applied to these two points by writing x as a function of y, that is, x equals h y. Display style x equals h y. Now the graph of the function will be h y y. Display style left h y y right since where b topic 0 we have a 1 and the conditions to locally express the function in this form are satisfied the implicit derivative of y with respect to x and that of x with respect to y can be found by totally differentiating the implicit function x 2 plus y 2 minus 1 display style x caret 2 plus y caret 2 minus 1 and equating to 0 2 x d x plus 2 y d y equals 0 display style 2x dx plus 2y dy equals 0 giving d y d x equals minus x y display style dy dx equals x y and d x d y equals minus y x display style dx dy equals y x topic application change of coordinates Suppose we have an m-dimensional space parametrized by a set of coordinates x 
1 x m display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m we can introduce a new coordinate system x 1 x m display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m by supplying m functions h 1 h m display style h underscore 1 l dots h underscore m each being continuously differentiable these functions allow us to calculate the new coordinates x 1 x m display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m of a point given the point's old coordinates x 1 x m display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m using x 1 equals h 1 x 1 x m x m equals h m x 1 x m Display style x underscore one equals h underscore one x underscore one l dots x underscore m l dots x underscore m equals h underscore m x underscore one l dots x underscore m. One might want to verify if the opposite is possible, given coordinates x one x m display style X underscore 1 L dots X underscore M can we go back and calculate the same points original coordinates X 1 X M display style X underscore 1 L dots X underscore M the implicit function theorem will provide an answer to this question the new and old coordinates x 1 x m x 1 x m display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m are related by f equals 0 with f x 1 x m x 1 x m equals h 1 x 1 x m minus x 1 h m x 1 x m minus x m display style f x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m equals h underscore 1 x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m x underscore 1 l dots h underscore m x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m x underscore m now the Jacobian matrix of f at a certain point a b where a equals x one x m b equals x one x m Display style equals x underscore one L dots x underscore M B equals x underscore one L dots x underscore M 
is given by d f a b equals minus 1 0 0 minus 1 h 1 x 1 b h 1 x m b h m x 1 b H M X M B equals minus I M J display style D F A B equals left begin matrix minus one and C D O T S and zero V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S zero and C D O T S and minus one end matrix left begin matrix frac partial H underscore one partial X underscore one B and C D O T S and frac partial H underscore one partial X underscore Underscore M B V D O T S and D dots and V D O T S frac partial H underscore M partial X underscore one B and C D O T S and frac partial H underscore M partial X underscore M B end matrix right right equals I underscore M J where M denotes the M times M identity matrix and J is the M times M matrix of partial derivatives evaluated at A B in the above these blocks were denoted by x and y as it happens in this particular application of the theorem neither matrix depends on a the implicit function theorem now states that we can locally express x1 xm display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m as a function of x1 xm display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore m if j is invertible Demanding j is invertible is equivalent to debt j does not equal zero, thus we see that we can go back from the primed to the unprimed coordinates if the determinant of the Jacobian j is non-zero. This statement is also known as the inverse function theorem. Example, polar coordinates As a simple application of the above, consider the plane, parametrized by polar coordinates R, theta. We can go to a new coordinate system Cartesian coordinates by defining functions x R, theta. R cos theta and y R, theta. R sin theta. This makes it possible given any point r theta to find corresponding cartesian coordinates x y When can we go back and convert cartesian into polar coordinates By the previous example it is sufficient to have det j does not equal 0 with j equals x r theta r x R theta theta y r theta r y r theta theta equals Cos theta minus r sin theta sin theta r cos theta display style j equals begin b matrix frac partial x r theta partial r and frac partial x r theta partial theta frac partial y r theta partial r and frac partial y r theta partial theta end b matrix equals begin b matrix cos theta and r sin theta sin theta and r cos theta end b matrix since det j topic r conversion back to polar coordinates is possible if r does not equal 0 so it remains to check the case r 0 it is easy to see that in case r 
equals 0 our coordinate transformation is not invertible at the origin the value of theta is not well defined equals topic generalizations equals topic banach space version Based on the inverse function theorem in Banach spaces, it is possible to extend the implicit function theorem to Banach space valued mappings. Let x, y, z be Banach spaces. Let the mapping f, x times y, z be continuously fresh a differentiable. If x 0 y 0 element of x times y display style x underscore 0 y underscore 0 in x times y f x 0 y 0 equals 0 display style f x underscore 0 y underscore 0 equals 0 and Y D F X zero Y zero zero Y Display style Y mapsto DF X underscore zero Y underscore zero zero Y is a Banach space isomorphism from y onto z, then there exist neighborhoods u of x0 and v of y0 and a fresh a differentiable function g, u v such that f x g x. Topic <laughs> 0 and f x y 0 if and only if y equals g x for all x Y element of U times V display style x y in U times V topic implicit functions from non differentiable functions Various forms of the implicit function theorem exist for the case when the function f is not differentiable. It is standard that it holds in one dimension. The following more general form was proven by Kumagai based on an observation by Jitantram. Consider a continuous function f, f r n times r m r n display style f r caret n times r caret m to r caret n such that f x 0 y 0 equals 0 display style f x underscore 0 y underscore 0 equals 0 if there exist open neighborhoods R n display style a subset r caret n and b r m display style b subset r caret m of x zero and y zero respectively, such that for all y in b f y a r n Display style f c d o t y a to r caret n is locally one to one. Then there exist open neighborhoods a zero r n display style a underscore zero subset r caret n and b zero r m Display style b underscore zero subset r caret m 
of x0 and y0, such that, for all y element of b 0 display style y in b underscore 0 the equation f x y equals 0 has a unique solution x equals g y element of a 0 display style x equals g y in a underscore 0 where g is a continuous function from bo into ao topic see also inverse function theorem constant rank theorem both the implicit function theorem and the inverse function theorem can be seen as special cases of the constant rank theorem equals equals notes